हाई इंजीनियरिंग जनता आई एम वैभव शुक्ला एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड दैट्स वाई आई हैव नेम्ड द टाइटल एज नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट बिगिनर्स डोंट नो द बेसिक्स ऑफ ए आई एंड द रीजन टू दैट इज वेन एवर आई स्पीक टू कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स हु आर इन कॉलेज और हु आर रिसेंटली ग्रेजुएटेड वेन एवर आई टॉक टू दम अबाउट ए आई दे आर टू फैसिनेटेड फ्रॉम इट बट वेन एवर आई आस्क अ फ्यू बेसिक्स ऑफ ए आई the whole perception changes interestingly a lot of students whom i spoke to had a very different imagination of ai they were indeed fascinated but they felt that ai is something magical or some superhuman thing fine and they are not actually understanding what exactly runs ai what is behind artificial intelligence and how this starts from the very grassroots of it fine they are not very clear on it so for that purpose i decided let's clear out a few basics of ai and let's break some myths around ai so that you guys can not just make your learning curve vertical but also you can help yourself identify that whether somebody who speaking of ai is actually meaning of ai or he is just using it as a marketing gimmick or a buzzword fine so before i dive in deep go follow me on instagram at shukla ji speaks that's my instagram handle and there you can directly connect to me and ask your queries fine let's go ahead let's dive in deep so before we understand a few more basics about ai let's first understand what exactly ai is so artificial intelligence refers to the capability of computational systems that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence such as learning reasoning problem solving and understanding language primarily ai makes any computer system or computational system capable of doing human like tasks theek hai itni si baat hai without any human intervention got it and this particular domain is on rise day by day it is entering every possible domain i have seen such such products which do not require ai and are still having ai in them fine so the point is this has become a buzzword in the market however very less or almost minimal is known about the basic foundation of ai fine so on that portion i'll ponder upon in this video but in this particular place remember anything that lets a computational system perform human like tasks without human intervention is ai fine that's the first basic you should understand now moving ahead primarily we have three categories in ai there are multiple but these three are primary categories which we have fine and these are narrow ai general ai and super intelligent ai i'll speak about all three of them but before i speak about them remember this narrow ai is also known as ani artificial narrow intelligence this is also known as agi artificial general intelligence and this is known as asi artificial super intelligence fine now talking about narrow ai this is focused on solving specific problems for example you have github copilot which is ai based fine so that can help you complete your code or you have chat gpt which can help you assist you in various tasks these are all narrow ais you build disease detectors using ai nml that is again narrow ai because it is targeted to a specific task it is based on solving that specific task however when we speak about general ai fine in this a machine can perform any intellectual task that human can so basically here ai can think it is still theoretical so if somebody tells you that ai can think remember he is making a fool out of you as simple as that right now this is still theoretical that ai can think itself for example you do a lot of things based on your own intuition fine not just based on the learnings that you have even if you had some learnings you think a few things you have an intuition of yours and then you sometimes proceed on particular decision if that same thing can be done by ai then it would be called general ai or artificial general intelligence fine for example you can write a research paper yourself but you can also critique it with your whole cognitive ability and you can have an intuition that this can be dangerous right now whatever ai generates as a response is based on the data and the facts that it fetches from somewhere else for example if you ask what do you think 
who is more powerful russia or america so it would compare the data it has and it would give you a very diplomatic answer but it would not have its own intuition for example i can have my intuition that india is the best country and this kind of intuition comes from my emotions my thinking right this when comes to ai would be known as artificial general intelligence right now this capability is not available with ai let me tell you fine so this is still theoretical still in research papers now coming to asi which is artificial super intelligence or super intelligent ai this is an intelligence that surpasses human capabilities fine if this comes true that would be in my opinion the worst nightmare of human race i'm not kidding on that but right now this is not even in research papers fine one in a million research paper written just for theory and gimmicky purpose in that you can find about super intelligent ai or one in a million paper where actually somebody has done some work and found out that there is a possibility of it but right now it is nowhere groundbreakingly in the theory nowhere in the practical it is still the future potential now super intelligent ai can be a very good helping uh, perspective for humans but it can create a lot of ruckus and you need not to fret over this fine this is a distant future you need not to fret over this as simple as that comments may be ja ke opinions mat dena ispe do not give opinions on how super intelligent ai can actually hamper you utilize that time in studying utilize that time in building your future as simple as that fine when ai will come to ruin your future it will be a very long time very very long time don't worry fine and it might not altogether do anything fine so let's go further key concepts on ai let's understand about a few key concepts so right now majority of artificial intelligence work is done using machine learning and deep learning we'll talk about it but nowadays a new wave of gen ai and agentic ai has arrived we'll later on understand about it but right now this is about generation of the responses generative portion of the artificial intelligence and making agents as simple as that making agents to do the work how those agents are formed that can be read in detail when we speak about agentic ai in some other video fine now coming to the machine learning it is a subset of ai where machine uses mathematical models and statistical algorithms to learn from data over time and to make a system ai enabled or ai capable as simple as that so basically here you teach machine using mathematical models statistical algorithms so that whatever data we give it fine it learns from it and makes the system ai enabled it makes the system capable of taking a few decisions without any human intervention as simple as that fine when it comes to deep learning this is a subset of ml so basically this is ai this is ml this smaller circle and this inside circle is dl fine so ai is the bigger circle ml is the media middle circle and dl is the innermost circle this deep learning is actually a subset of ml only however here you mimic the process of learning of humans just like humans learn you teach it to machine how you use artificial neural networks with many layers as we humans have neural networks for example you have neurons if you are touching a hot pan you'll immediately remove your hand why so because your neural network is wired in a pattern where your neuron gets a hot sensation it sends it to the brain and brain sends back the signal to the neuron that remove the hand fine so you immediately remove the hand as simple as that so that's about deep learning and this ai is not just about coding but about understanding patterns data and decision making it's not about that you code something that implements it is about understanding the problem it is about understanding how data can help me in this problem it is about understanding how a machine can take decisions without any human intervention to improve the results rather than just taking decisions for the sake of making a project not like that it should potentially create some impact for example if you are building a disease detector we already have some di disease detection method but your disease detector should take lesser time as compared to the existing method so that it can actually work on the ground it can actually create some impact fine so that's that's pretty much about the concepts of ai 
when I move further, there are a few misconceptions which I like to clear. And to clear this out, AI can think like humans. Fine. Remember, this is a very big misconception. A lot of people think that AI can think like humans. It cannot. Right now, it cannot. AI is not conscious. This is very, very important line. Right now, AI is not conscious. It's an algorithm that processes data based on pre-programmed rules and patterns. Whatever the patterns have been learned in the past, whatever there are pre-programmed rules that lie inherently in that system, from that only AI can take decisions. It is not like humans. It cannot think and take any decision. Got it? It is not AGI right now. First. Second, as I told you, a lot of students feel AI is some magic or magic-like. No, it's not. It's not any magic. Many beginners think that AI works with magic or advanced techniques that they don't understand. It's not like that. The reality is that AI is about solving problems systematically using math and data. That's the bottom line. You use mathematics, intensive use of mathematics, intensive use of data, and then you solve some problems. So whatever you're having right now at your platter, mathematics, data, that only creates AI. So it is not some magic. And it's not some magic wand that you're rotating and things are happening. Not like that. It is learning from data. It is using mathematics to analyze that data, to find out features from that data, to actually get some useful information from that data using mathematics. And once it gets it, then it applies further mathematical and statistical models to take decisions. Fine. So it, it is nothing but taking data-driven decisions. It is not magic. And a lot of people think that AI can learn anything. <laughs> no. AI has its own limitations. This is actually a lie that has been propagated. Right now, AI has limitations. It's highly dependent on the quality of data rather than the way you think that it can learn things. The type of data you give, if your data has a lot of noise, noise is unwanted information, a lot of uh, aberrations or errors, if they are present in your data or you have some outliers, some very big values, some unusual values, then the quality of data is not good and the data cannot be used very well. If the data is biased, as I told you, then inaccurate or incomplete results can be performed. If it is inaccurate and incomplete, then AI model will not perform very well. It would give you very, very bad results, as simple as that. So what I can tell you is these all myths should be broken. This is also wrong. AI cannot think like humans. AI is not magic. AI cannot learn anything. Fine. So all three of them, all three problems should be avoided by you. Fine. All three problems. Now, when I go further, as usual, as I say, that top three comments get Prep Insta Prime subscription for free. So do not miss that chance. Go ahead, comment below this video and to all of you, there's a surprise in the end of video. We are announcing the giveaway of Prep Insta Prime, as I told you. So, we have chosen a comment which has been among the top three comments and that comment would be given, that particular user would be given the subscription of Prep Insta Prime and that lucky user, I'll tell you that how you can avail that subscription. Now, you simply go ahead, follow me on this social media handle, Instagram handle. And alongside that, follow Prepinsta on all the social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update. At the end, I'll just conclude by two lines. Do not get afraid from AI, number one. Number two, keep doing good for others without any expectations. Good will come back to you. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye. So as I told you, it's the giveaway time and we have a lucky winner of Prepinsta Prime subscription. So for you all, I have somebody who has won this subscription and it's Jay Wright, that's right, whoever you are, dear user, this is your comment on one of my videos. So first of all, thank you so much that you've done such a generous comment. Alongside that, this comment has won the Prep Insta Prime subscription for free. Now to claim this, if you're watching this, to claim this subscription, what you have to do, so listen here. You simply mail us at support at the rate prepinsta.com. Alongside this, alongside mailing to this support at the rate prepinsta.com, what you have to do is go ahead, follow me on the Instagram. You have my Instagram handle at the rate Shuklaji Speaks. 
Jai right, that's right. Go ahead, follow me there. And you leave me a ping. Fine, you simply text me on Instagram that you have won this and you're the same person. But what you have to do is, you have to go ahead, post this screenshot from your account where it should reflect that this is your account. Post your email, fine. Your name, your contact number, fine your year of graduation fine all this i need as an information alongside this screenshot of your youtube account fine yt account where this username is visible so you're having this unique username all you need to do is you go ahead and give me a screenshot of this username with your yt account and with that give us all these details and you can mail them on support at the red as well as text me on the Instagram, fine, on the Shuklaji Speaks handle. I'll make sure that you get this subscription for free. So that's a giveaway. And to all those people who want this subscription for free, you might stand a chance to win this if you comment below this video. So go ahead, comment. Fine. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.